Yes. Good. The left leg. Like, he can't put weight on it. It's where his head is. His, his weight is going to be where his head is. He can't put enough weight if his head's not there. I'm going to separate him. I would just con yeah, I would just continue to drag. There you go. The drag's gonna be the most popular, guys. But some people do. Your lock, Maria. Fix your lock. Your lock is backwards. That's it. Nice, Drew. Yeah. Solid technique, Drew. Uh, don't worry about going behind him so much. I want you to turn your hip. I liked it, though. It was good, the way you turned your so hip. So you got this side, right? The yeah. lock is uh, backwards, uh, Jackie. Switch it left, second side, the other one. So just a point on the position. So now I'm here. Lock, you lock, know, lock proper. Yeah. 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 Hand around the neck, palm down, guys. Yeah. Hand around the hip, palm. Hand around the neck, palm down. Yeah. That's right. Remember, everything you squeeze, we squeeze with our radius. Give me a wide mouth down. Squeeze it. You gotta squeeze here, not here. Okay? Yeah, right Yeah, exactly. Pull towards the power. So when you grip that front headlock, his head is that wide mouth. So you put that around that left palm down. Now when you squeeze him, look at how that is. Now, Nish, you gotta pull that left down back, right? The left hand, no, your left hand, way too far across. Pull your left hand back and pull some on the mat. Just put your hand, yeah, yeah, pull that thing back. That helps widen the arms a little bit, makes, makes a bigger hole. It, it, bring your head back, ear to chest. Yes. Now she already knows, it's slipping out. Now go ahead, reach it back. Yeah, I want to see the grip with the left hand and the pull. Do it again. Yes, nice. And put weight on. Yeah, see, she's strong. And go see though. Uh, right hand grabs left. Uh, thumb from down. This is seat belt grip. Nope. Seat belt grip. You're in. Seat belt grip. Pull that under the chest. Now it's tight. Now when you want to go to the neck, that hand will reach the wrist. Even if it doesn't reach it, that's fine. That's plenty. You see how your hand just goes like this, turns up. When you grab it upon a palm, that hand is now exposed. It's the same position, except the hand's exposed. No, Maria. The, the choke arm is the threat. You grab the choke arm with two hands. Just fall to your side, that's it. Or even like that, yeah. Now you can't choke her. See, now you go to the wrist, but if her hand's on your hand, ne never mind. Maria doesn't know what I'm talking about. When you come here, Rish, Rish, go, go do it to me. So, go behind, see belt. If you, if you lock like that, and I try to grab, see how you're protecting it. But if you grab palm to palm, the other way though, I'm done, I'm safe. Try to choke. Notice how hard it is. Yeah. Try to push my wrist out. Wait. See what's happening? See, I'm here. That's why we never put this on top here. Defense, defense, break, escape. Now, if you do this, you're protected. See, I can't break it. The only thing I can break is this, which is good, because when you go to the choke, oh shit, too late. Crawl, 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 crawl deeper. Uh, and then I go over here, it's gonna be too late. So what about this one? Why is, it? it's protected, so why not this one? Squeeze, not good. Look at my left hand. Look how deep, squeeze, squeeze. Look how deep my hand is. Now try to choke. Try to choke. No, no, let go and choke me. See how strong I am? Yep. Now turn it this way. Stab me in the heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now grip. Now look at the difference. Look at my hand. I went as deep as I can. Mm -hmm. Now watch. Now go to the choke. See that? Yeah. Look at my fingers. They're here. Rather than when your hand's like this, oh, they're yeah. here. Now when you try to choke me, you, you turn against the wrench. I have a strong wrench grip. If your hand's this way, and I grip, now your wrench goes this way and goes up. Do you see it? That's why this is the preferred seatbelt method. Don't leave a knot too big at the bottom because the guy will block that knot. Now I'm good again. He goes to my wrist. I already have the hand. See, I got the hand. So you cover the fingers, make a fist, 
Grab this little pinky pad. Deep. Good. Now, I can't access from the bottom. I gotta go here. If I go here, you go wrist and peel it off. Ah, oh, shit. This guy's gonna get my neck. Simply seat dog grip. Here, okay? Uh, just, just sit on your bottom. Sit on your butt. Here. What happens if I do this? Which one can he peel? Can he, can he peel the choke arm? Which one's the choke arm? Can he peel it? Of course he can, but he doesn't even realize it because he thinks it's a demonstration and I'm supposed to win. Where do you put your hands? Yes, and the other one. How about just put it where it was? Yeah, how about, just, how about right there? Oh my gosh, just break the grip. How do I choke you? Can't. All right, how about this? But why are you, yeah, you, this is the threat. This is the threat. Put the hand on the threat. And now if you want to peel this and I try to go over the choke, look how strong you are. Mm -hmm. You see that? That wrench is strong. See that? How about this? And where's the other one go? Yeah, oh, why not just attack my fingers? They're exposed. No, like, like, like just on top of them. Push it off. No, I don't think you understand. These fingers, like look, you can just break the grip and you have control of the choke. This is the threat. It's gone. Now watch. Now you can't access it. And even anytime I want, I could open. You're gonna, you're gonna defend or no? I got that wrist. And now I crawl and I get back to here. And it's over. Guys, it's very important you get the jump. Turn my wrist this way, scrapes up, his chin's down, kick the chin up. If your hand starts like this, you go up, you hit a chin. If you hit a chin, chin down, and I hit a chin, I gotta now go down to get underneath it because I'm never gonna go under his chin like this. So it's this way, here, as opposed to here. Palm to palm is a pretty good grip. The problem is he has access to fingers. Not like that. Just go on top of it. No. Th yeah, right there. You can put your thumb in there if you want. Look at this. Grab my fingers. See how you did that? Now watch. Put your thumb right in there. Yeah. You got the fingers to squeeze. And now pull and break, break the grip. You're not squeezing. You guys are all too, way too nice. Squeeze the shit out of their fingers. Squeeze them. Squeeze them. Yeah. Don't be afraid, guys. There's nothing wrong with squeezing somebody's fingers. It's no different than anything else you do in grappling. We're not grabbing single digits. Grab the fingers, squeeze the shit out of them. Nobody's gonna get hurt if you're that damn strong. If Cass grabs onto your fingers and breaks your fingers from doing this, then you need to chill, Cass. All right, you gotta chill. All right, EPMD, you got you gots to chill. But this should not hurt anyone. Nobody should be hurt by this. You're gonna be grabbing fingers like this all the time during grappling. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? Be okay with it. Um, uh, Eddie, just go behind me. Just not kneel. You can just kneel. Just kneel. And go in here. It's much easier. So when he's here, if you were so palm to palm, no, the other way though. Yeah, and I went here. See that? Look at, look at. See how I'm getting to those fingers? Mm -hmm. Anytime now my thumb's in there, I squeeze, and now I'm gonna break and open. I have control now. Now I can move, I can escape, whatever I'm gonna do. I'm not worried about the threat now. See that? Mm -hmm. Because this hand's not choking me. Um, but if he holds down, yeah, like, do that one again. This is bad just because, look at how, like, see my shoulder right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, squeeze. See my hand goes super deep. Now look, if I try to, if you try to go to the choke now, see how strong that grip is? This grip, I'm talking about, my grip is now strong because the deep wrench. But when it's like this, look at how deep my squeeze. Even though I try to do this again, look at, yeah. that's all my fingers got. Now if I try to peel here, he just raises. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Yeah. This is the reason why so many guys get choked. 
they, they, they're here and here. Mm -hmm. This is not enough. This is not enough to stop this. He's going to crawl. He's going to go elbow deep. And then by the time you get up here, he cleans it up and he finishes. It's not enough. Okay. We have to, so what do we do? You're going here. What do we do? If he's doing proper seatbelt, hand goes here, thumb goes inside. So that way I can't get I have, at least I have two on it. If he grabs my wrist, he may, he may know how to finger break. He may know, see, I got to make sure I know how to play this game. Because he might know how to play the game too. But I need to treat this threat as a real threat. Mm -hmm. I can't be doing one and one. You do one and one on a strong guy, gonna you're, you're going to lose. Okay? Sure. So that's why when we defend, we're going here. And then High elbow. if you remember, I mean, there's more to it. He doesn't have his hooks in. But remember, like my, well, this hand's here. Now I can bring my hand inside. And now I have this here. So now as he's connected, I'm trying to like pump yeah, him in. I'm, now I can open his hands and then we can start coming out. Yeah. Okay. So you're always just monitoring that thing. Let's do it. Um, what, how did we get on this? The, it was all because I want to see proper seatbelts, guys, proper locks. Thumb so, in the, thumb in the chest. Uh, front headlock. Here. So you have a good lock, not like this. When I go behind, this is the choke arm gets grabbed. Not like this. Don't leave your, don't leave it. Okay. You'll, you'll, you'll take the back and then he'll just go right to your hands. He'll peel the hands and now you lost the back. You know, but if you're here, he tries to do the same thing. And you're like, nope, lock him down. Okay, single hook lock and now I'm good to go. I've got, I've got the back. The only way he can break this grip is if he peels which hand. He's got to, and I want him to. I want him to fight that thing so hard, and then I'm just gonna let it go. Oh, God. and it's all no. I want that guy to fight I that hand. I, I'm just, I'll just stay put, wait till he fights your hand. Once he does, boom, spring it on him. Okay, let's go. It's perfect. Try that. Yeah, I'm having a rough day. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood at all. I'm having a hard time. This is not the usual me. I had a different uh, caffeine source today and it's bringing this out of me. Um, anyway, it, it's not like a super high dose. It's just a different source I'm not used to, but maybe, uh, maybe there's something a little different than what I'm used to. So it's causing this kind of Coach Brian to come out. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment down below. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time with more crazy stuff.